Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. We see we had a few earthquakes too, in fact, today for the new Madrid earthquake zone. Three in the last week, a 1.3, a 1.7, and a 2.3. That was yesterday. One person did report feeling the 2.3 earthquake that happened at 2.24 p.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time. The 1.3 occurred at 3.58 a.m. this morning, Central Daylight Time. And the 1.7 occurred at 1.53 a.m. today, Monday, Local Time, Central Daylight Time, I should say, December 30th. Now, the 1.7 occurred in an area of a locked zone. Um, there's been several earthquakes in the past, kind of west of this area. I've talked a bit about the new Marid area. There's a magnetic anomaly that stretches through this area. They're not even really sure what was the location of that earthquake that happened in 1811 and 1812. And do you realize there was earthquake aftershocks for 50 years after that earthquake? Davy Crockett talked about one of the aftershocks when he was tracking um, and hunting a bear about the areas that had great crevices, areas that had turned to swamp. So here's the location of the 1.3 earthquake, and I'll bring that out. Yeah, not far from a brick-structured school, masonry. Um, there's the uh, locked zone. This actually, too, isn't very far from an area where they suspect where the uh, 1811 uh, 1812 magnitude 7 plus earthquakes and after that 7 plus earthquakes that shook for over um, I believe it was three minutes they figured the shaking carried on for can, can you imagine the damage that happened during that long three minutes but after the major earthquake there was shortly after three more in the magnitude of sixes and sevens same with this 2.3 that occurred yesterday this is in the suspected area of that 1811-1812 um, earthquake down here on the left. Let's see, we got a 2.1. Now that occurred on November 11th. Um, this one here was the today. That one here was on December 29th. Yeah, and I, I got different things that I put on here. Let me close this. Looking at the fault lines, the blowholes. Um, yeah, you can still see the blowholes, areas of the 1811, 1812 earthquake. Huge blowholes. This is where uh, um, the ground and the water mixed together and it shot up sand. And Well, let me go back to that crack. It's in the road. See them? Let me zoom in if I can farther. See that? Goes all the way across. All the way across. You can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, real foot lake. Yeah, that wasn't a lake before. That was a whole area that sunk. Yeah, a whole area that sunk. Um, it's up over here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, that whole area sunk. I'll bring it out. How many of your homes, how many schools would be standing after three minutes of shaking? Nope, where is it? Where is that school? There we go. Yeah, it's a brick structure using Google Earth and you know zooming in yeah and if it happened during a time when children were yeah in classes yeah I don't know what the population there is at the school but yeah all we can do and there's a lot of stone structures in this area
Yeah, and then to mention the uplift, the cracks, the infrastructure, the damage, the uh, emergency responders, how many cell phone towers would be down, just to name a few of the effects of a major earthquake. Are you prepared? I hope people are prepared and they have a plan. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.